You get me a little closer With every word that you sing I got a glimpse of the front gate In that old port swing Did you ever go to my hometown? It's almost like you know me Things I've forgotten about You've written down to show me Can you sing me a little town? Right there on the riverbank Old house on the naked block Fruit trees and a water tank Welcome to the Flinders Shire, right in the centre of Queensland, only a half-day drive from Townsville on the Overlanders Way. Take the time to meet the locals and explore the features that make this part of Queensland so special. The Flinders Shire is one of Western Queensland's largest council areas that covers more than 41,000 square kilometres and has a population of 1,794 residents. The Shire encompasses the communities of Huendon, Prairie, Tones Creek and Stanford. Huendon, being the main centre, is situated on the Flinders River, 386 kilometres west of Townsville and 519 kilometres east of Mount Isa. When you get to Huendon, drop into the Flinders Discovery Centre, where the friendly, knowledgeable staff of volunteers will help you get the best out of your visit and share their passion for Western life. The Flinders Shire covers a variety of diverse landscape, with basalt caps and gorges to the north, desert country to the southeast, and open flat black soil plains to the south and west. With four distinct bioregions in the Shire, the natural surrounds are vast and ever-changing. Amongst these bioregions are four national parks. The explorers Frederick Walker and William Lansborough were the first to lay their eyes on the open grassland downs and harsh basalt country that surround Huendon. The explorers were on a rescue mission for the ill-fated Burke and Wills party. Reports from Landsborough's journals sparked much interest in the rolling grasslands that seemed to go on forever. A blazed historical Coolabar tree stands in proud acknowledgement to the two famous explorers who discovered the region. Sources agree that Ernest Henry should be given credit as the pioneer of Huendon. In 1863, he so-named the selection after his grandfather's Tudor Manor House in Buckinghamshire, England. Huendon Station was later sold to Ernest Henry's cousin Robert Gray in 1865 for just under £5,000. Gray stocked Huendon Station with 3,000 sheep and so began a proud history of sheep and cattle grazing which continues to this day and is the lifeblood of the region. The establishment of the township of Huendon did not take place until 1876, when Robert Gray allowed a friend by the name of William Mark to build a hotel to cater to the travellers passing through on their way to the Cloncurry mining area. By the following year, a store, blacksmith and a butcher's shop had joined the hotel. In around 1887, it became an important railhead for the Great Northern Railway. Mm -hmm. 
Settlement on the banks of the Flinders River, Queensland's longest river, would have been a feat in itself. The river, which flows into the Gulf of Carpentaria, is often dry and only runs during the wetter months of the year. Water was sourced through wells in the river base until the discovery of the Great Artesian Basin where underground bores were installed. Gazing over you as you drive into town, Mut the Mutabarasaurus is one of many landmarks you will find on the streets of Huendon. Flinders Shire is situated on the edge of a vast prehistoric inland sea, once home to many terrestrial dinosaurs as well as marine reptiles, making this area well known as dinosaur country. The Flinders Discovery Centre is home to a world-class fossil collection and a great introduction to the ancient history around you. The first fossil found in the area was in 1865, on a property west of Huendon that has since included finds of a Matabarasaurus, Huendon sauropod, and pieces of the Queensland plesiosaur, as well as many ammonites, mollusks, and shark teeth dating back to the Cretaceous period. While visiting the region, take the opportunity to make your own fossil discovery. The friendly locals at the Flinders Discovery Centre can direct you to a site, a short drive from Huendon, where you can fossic for belemnites, an extinct prehistoric cephalopod. Unrest in the local shearers over the employing of non-union and Chinese labour and the determination of the pastoralists to maintain the right to employ whoever they desired culminated in one of the biggest strikes in Queensland's history. It began on January 1st, 1891. Feelings ran high on both sides. This, coupled with various incidents, resulted in troopers from Townsville under the leadership of Captain Johnson being called in to help maintain law and order. The Riot Act was read to a party of strikers who attempted to stop the wool teams crossing the creek. Troops with fixed bayonets barred the way and enabled the teams to cross over. In 1894 the strike was renewed and after the burning of several shearing sheds where shots were exchanged and a man was killed, the carrying of firearms was declared illegal throughout the district by Act of Parliament. A tree on the banks of the Flinders River, bearing the inscription, United We Stand, Divided We Fall, marked the site of the shearing strike camp and stood as a reminder of this historical incident until it was destroyed by fire in 1944. With the acceptance of unionism and the formation of what would eventually become the arbitration court, the dispute ended. Known as Australia's Little Grand Canyon, with its cool, clear flowing creek, towering cliffs of vibrantly coloured sandstone and comparatively dense vegetation, Porcupine Gorge provides a striking contrast to the sparsely wooded dry flat plains which surround it. This impressive canyon reveals strata of sedimentary rocks, spanning hundreds of millions of years of geological history. Mm -hmm. 
Porcupine Gorge is one of Australia's most hidden treasures. An hour's drive north of Huondon, the road passes through flat woodlands of typical Australian eucalypts and acacias and gives no hint to the existence of the gorge until one reaches it. The gorge has been carved by Porcupine Creek out of the basalt lava flow, revealing the beautiful soft colours of the walls that tower 150 metres over the water. The gorge can be appreciated from two different areas. The first is a lookout giving a view deep into the gorge below. The second point is a National Park campsite where basic facilities are provided, although campers are advised to bring their own drinking water as water supply can be unreliable. From here you can follow the walking track that takes visitors to the bottom of the gorge where there is a swimming hole at the base of the pyramid formation. The Flinders Shire boasts stunning scenery and amazing vistas, but it is the warmth of the local people the visitors name is their number one reason for returning. Spirit shows itself in all aspects of life in the Flinders Shire, but it really shines when the locals come together to celebrate and play. My father was a trucker, a real highway lugger, driving from town to town, hauling freight from interstate up to Charter's towns. He let me ride beside him as country music played. I guess that's where it started I felt diesel in my veins So grab that truck Fire it up And let them horses fly I got a T650 camera And she'll make it there on time You know I spend my time Running round with trucks and bulls and mud I got bulls and horses in my blood Man who was working on the land from the day that 
Flinders Shire hosts a number of events throughout the year, including the Hewenden Show, Porcupine Gorge Challenge, Mount Walker Fun Run, and the Stanford Race Meeting. The sun sets slowly across the western sky. The night closes in Wind whispers softly across the open plain It's good to be home again I'm tired of those city lights
skies Under these western skies For more information on the Flinders Shire attractions and services, contact the Flinders Discovery Centre.